Oh. Ah. So, your... what's our next move? Where are we at? <laughs> what are we doing? Where are we going? This is catching up with the Cognitos. One uh, year. One year. After moving aboard Lost Cat. So, here we are. We're in uh, Abaco at uh, Abaco Beach Resort. Stop to get some parts because we have a big sale coming up. We're heading south this year. Um, last year we went north to the Chesapeake Bay. Because everything was closed Because everything, COVID. the whole world was closed. Yeah, our plan originally was to sail south through the Caribbean and beyond, but. And do some charters in the Bahamas, but we did charters in Florida. So if you've been following along with our other videos, you see that we did a couple of charters in the Florida Keys. Yeah. Worked out great. We had yeah. several charters. Yeah, awesome. We did some week-long charters in the Florida Keys. We did some day trips in Fort Lauderdale. We did a 14-day charter. We did. With strangers that we mm -hmm. met on YouTube. It was awesome. Hi, Steve. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> um, so, our next move is south because things yeah. are opening up a little bit. And um, I think we're going to go down to the ABC Islands. I'm excited. I haven't been. James lived in Aruba for a bit, um, but I'm super excited because I've never been there before. Good diving, good sailing. So uh, that's where we're at at yeah. the moment. But getting there was uh, a bit of a journey. Lots of prep, boat prep. Yeah. Uh, we had to make sure the boat's ready to go. It's about a thousand miles to head south. Um, we're going to stop in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Yeah, we've got a charter there from some lovely folks we actually met who were on vacation in Florida. And they did a day trip with us in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, now they're joining us in the BVIs or the I U.S. You, Virgin Islands. I bet you they want to they want to buy a boat move aboard. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, lots of people want to buy a boat move yeah. aboard. Yeah, uh, this is a great way to test it out. Come sail with us. <laughs> come sail with us. <laughs> See what it's all about. It's where we find ourselves here right now because this is actually the spot that... We thought we would buy our little piece of land, have the main house, four or five cabanas, you know, little two bedroom apartments and yeah. a dock. And here we are now, uh, post Dorian. Uh, there's been a lot of rebuilding, but uh, mm -hmm. it's the reason we bought the boat instead of the land at first. So yeah. now we have the boat, we're back checking it out. And I think we want to try and find a place not in the hurricane zone. Yeah, because we're figuring out that um, it's very difficult to live aboard a boat and run charters and live in an area with hurricanes. Uh, from an insurance perspective, they don't want you to have your boat in a place where there are hurricanes. And that makes a lot of sense. They can only insure so many boats in a certain area. Lots of and uh, there's lots of losses and there has been the past few years. So it makes sense why insurance, you know, they will insure you, but it, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And so we think it just makes uh, more sense for us to go somewhere and set our roots, our roots, <laughs> yeah. uh, in a place where hurricanes aren't such an issue. So that's where we're, that's our main goal and our main dream. So we bought Lost Cat to head out and look and see if we can't find the perfect location for to set up our dream. Yeah. So the perfect location would be not in a hurricane zone. It would have good diving. Yes. It would be accessible for people to get to fairly easy, yeah. but still kind of off the beaten path. We want to be somewhere where it's a little yeah. exotic for people to so where the vacation on the experience is still very, feels very private and it's not a, in a tourist trap. So that's, that's what I was like, wait a minute, those three things, let's try Bonaire. Mm -hmm. So we're going to hop from St. Croix to Bonaire. Uh, love for you guys to follow along with our adventures. Uh, we will be recording that and posting it as we can. Uh, That's right. <laughs> but Bonaire, it's a diver's paradise. Great sailing, off the beaten path, and is out of hurricane zone. So. Right. And they've got something called the Dutch American Friendship Treaty, which Ooh. we learned through one of our uh, friends that's been uh, a longtime supporter. Jesse. Uh, Jesse Jameson of, of uh, James and I, and has chartered our boat several times with uh, business partners and friends. And he uh, set up his business in the Netherlands. And apparently the Dutch-American Friendship Treaty can also be extended to the, the Dutch Caribbean, which are the ABC Islands. And so we're gonna go check that out and see if it's as business friendly as they say it is there to mm. set, set up a business. And if all those other boxes, which we think are checked are checked, then that might be where we end long term. Thanks. But you know what they say about plans? What do they say about plans? 
You, you can, can make, plan? You can make plans. That's not it. And life is what happens in between. No. <laughs> You can plan uh, so, the place, we can plan the time, but you can't plan the place in time? Yeah, that's for sailing. Okay, what's the, the other one? The best laid plans, plans of mice and men. That's right. Know, what? Prior <laughs> proper planning prevents piss poor performance. There's that. So, you make plans, God laughs. That's just, what it that's is. It. We'll see where God wants us to be. And it uh, feels like we're on the right path so far. Yeah. And yeah, so love for you guys to subscribe, <laughs> like our videos. Do all the yeah. things so that uh, you can follow along on our adventure. See, yeah. see what we can find. And if you're interested, contact us at uh, life at 8 com and come get aboard. Yeah. Let's go sailing. See if yeah. we can't make it make it happen.